Over the last week or so, General Mattis has been running around hawking his book, but it was revealed today that he's planning to cash in on his government service in a much more swampy way. It was reported by Axios that Mattis is joining the Cohen Group, a massive advisory firm started by another former Defence Secretary, William Cohen. Here's how the Cohen Group describes some of its services. Quote, understanding and intervening to beneficially affect political, legislative and regulatory issues, including shaping public policy debates, maneuvering through regulatory processes, development of standards and regulations, securing public sector funding. Also known as lobbying. It's quite the fall from grace, from mad dog Mattis to swamp lobbyists. But worse than that, it's not even lobbying for American interests. Here's the aerospace and defense page of the Cohen Group's website. Amongst other triumphs on behalf of its clients, it lists assisted U.S. and Indian firms to develop a partnership to manufacture military aerostructures in India advised a German aviation firm on its acquisition of a 49% stake in a U.S. commercial air carrier, assisted an Indian firm to partner with a U.S. firm on the manufacture in India of night vision equipment, secured CFIUS approval of a French acquisition of a leading U.S. maker of aerospace composite tooling, assisted an Indian aircraft manufacturer in aircraft sales to U.S. state and local government agencies. Well, isn't that fantastic. General Mattis is now taking his years of taxpayer-funded government service to a firm that boasts about shipping defense manufacturing jobs overseas, selling American defense companies to the French and the Germans, and lobbying state and local governments in this country to use your tax dollars not to buy American, but to buy Indian. What the hell is Mattis doing, going from defending America to selling out America? Now, it's only fair to note that the Cohen Group does also talk about helping American companies, and I guess it's possible that General Mattis has insisted on a clause in his contract that limits him to such work. But even if that's the case, and he's welcome any time on this show to tell us, it's shameful for him to have anything to do with this swampy firm that shows no loyalty to the country that put it where it is. If you agree, have your say at Steve Hilton X and at Next Rev FNC.